Hello guys and welcome to the Beyond Sun Asian. My name is Shanks. In today on the map Lebanon, we are going to play a 3v3 match in Battle for Middle Earth 1 on the patch 2.22. Everybody is picking random and we get to play the Gondor faction. It's a Gondor, Rohan, and Isengard combination. Pretty solid, but you gotta keep in mind that Mordor is the strongest faction in 3v3 matches because Mordor is a faction which provides a lot of utility with a bunch of leadership. But we can still make it work. So basically, at the beginning of the game, we will be building up two blacksmiths and also recruit Peregrine Tuk. And in this game, I would like to recruit heroes like Boromir, Faramir, level them up to get enough leadership for my ally, Isengard. He can also keep, you know, get my settlement. So he will have no money problems. Let me actually ping him so he can actually take this settlement here. And we can grab this one after creeping the goblin layer. Okay, so um, the plan is to creep a lot with the soldiers. We need a lot of power points to be able to get Gandalf the White. And Gandalf the Grey is pretty good, but uh, nothing in compared to Gandalf the White. So we need to make sure that we get the power points unlocked as quickly as possible. And for that reason, creeping is a very solid choice. I'm pinging my allies so we can scout what the enemy factions are. Hopefully they are not having Mordor. Mordor once again is scary in 3v3 matches. But and the thing is, but guys, in 3v3 matches, in BFME 1, you get also more money. So you should have no problem with Mordor faction to be able to recruit trolls and Nazgûls. Remember, Mordor is the faction who can get the chance to recruit three flying heroes at the same time. And that's uh, pretty scary. Have any good stories for me? But we have a solid combination between Rohan, Isengard, and Gondor. So if we get the chance to get Boromir to level 4 for 60% more DPS, if we get Theoden on the field, Aragorn, and also Lourdes level 5, Warchant, and pretty much like long story short, we can make the combos from Isengard, our ally, hit like an absolute truck. Creeping, 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 creeping. We need a lot of power points. And yeah, now we can save up for Faramir and give him the chance to show his quality. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'm always harsh on Faramir, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's it's hard to not be hard on this guy, you know what I'm saying? Because he was getting bullied by his dad. And I, I mean it in a, in a funny way. I think Faramir is a great hero. I actually was, you know, a big fan of Faramir in the films. I was always feeling bad for Faramir. Because nobody deserves to be threatened like he did from his daddy. So we are in a good spot. We can also creep the troll layer, by the way, with the Hobbit. That's also a possibility. Boromir first, because we need Boromir leadership. Faramir can get leadership, you know. Um, I mean, Faramir can level up anyway. Boromir later on will have a hard time to level up. So, the plan is to lure the troll away with the, with the soldier. And then we can place our Hobbit inside the tower. Beautiful. I mean, we will be losing the level 1 soldier, but it's okay. We don't need him anyway. And again, we need to creep a lot to get the power points we need to get Gandalf into the Gandalf Dwight. Okay, so I want to make sure that the Hobbit is not going to be able to kill the troll fully because I would like to get the last hit with my Boromir if possible. This Mordor is actually recruiting a bunch of orcs. Which you don't really need. You don't need orcs with Mordor faction in 3v3 matches. You can actually skip them and go for the troll cage or for the Nazgul as soon as possible. Get out, Pippin. Get out. One more shot. Get out now. And let Boromir handle this. Like a, like a true captain of Gondor. Boom. Sit down, troll. And the good thing about Boromir is after we are done creeping a full troll layer, the troll in the layer itself, we will be able to get him to level 4, which would unlock his leadership bonuses. I mean, we are in a good spot, I would say, because Farami is going to join next. We can also eventually capture the outpost if we need that. And what we can do in the outpost, guys, is we can build three statues. And now you might call me crazy and say, yeah, but Shanks, why three statues? The, in the answer is simple, because statue is giving you hero bonus. That's going to make our Gandalf cost way less, and we will be able to afford him. Look, this column, he wanted to steal my money, but no, 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 good sir. Don't touch my tralala. <laughs> no, my, my money, I mean. Okay, so Faramir, you gotta creep the second troll layer. Hobbit should be in a good spot. And now we can slowly but surely save up for Gandalf. I mean, we have one, one farm, two farms outside, and four, uh, six blacksmiths in total inside the camp. 
So our money should be actually looking good in long terms. We mustn't let them close. These parts shall remain safe. I think I show potential. Be careful. There are wards Ready nearby. Yourself. I mean, if we, make, if we need to make a ranking in terms of strength and the power of the factions in 3v3 matches, we need to say Mordor is the best, Rohan is the second best, Isengard the third, and Gondor is the, the weakest faction in 3v3 matches. Um, just because Gondor is actually good with, the, with Gandalf only and with the strong defense. However, on a camp map like Lebanon, we have not the power of having a strong defense. Our base is open and that's going to be a big weakness of the Gondor army. Oh, they have actually double Mordor. Okay, they have double Mordor and one Rohan. That's also a pretty solid combination. And double Mordor means that we will eventually have to deal with like six Nazgûs at the same time. And that's not gonna be fun. My ally is going for Elma and Theorin. That's good. We will need a lot of leadership. Also, the opponent has Elma and Theorin up on the field. And Boromir might be able to knock them down on the ground, by the way. Boromir, I need you around the outpost, please. Move here. So we can, you know, kind of kill this Theorin eventually. Warning Arrow is actually chunking a lot. And you aim on Theorin, you will actually almost burst them. Like from 50% HP down to zero. And we are really close to get Gandalf the Grey into, into the Gandalf the White. Now, keep in mind that Gandalf normally costs 6,000. But once the statues are up, he's going to become way cheaper. We shall win this war. Okay, after the Gandalf, what we can do is, uh, we have many, many options. We can go for a stable, we can go for the upgrades first, we can go for the marketplace, like, we have plenty of options. Of My ally is Lourdes, but Lourdes might be in trouble. There is a troll. Troll is not a joke in BFME 1. You can actually, you know, one single troll with enough leadership can kill every hero in the game. Oh, Lourdes might be in trouble. We have heal for the worst case scenario. I can heal him if he needs that. Oh, he's getting bullied. Do I need to heal him? No, no. I think my Farami is going to be just in time. Farami, show your quality. Warning arrow. Boom. We are in a good spot. Again, if he commits on Lourdes, we can always heal him. And now we can recruit Gandalf too. That's beautiful. Keep shooting at him. Is he going to commit? No, he's not going to commit. Okay, we don't need to heal. And our opening is going to be forced to dis disengage. Faramir is hitting like a truck. I stand as your captain. God. And as we are killing trolls, as we are killling Rohirrim and other heroes, we are actually getting a lot of power points collected. Power points are like, still extremely important in Battle for Middle Earth games. Actually, that's the main differential between BFME games to other RTS games. Uh, and the main differential is uh, the heroes and the power points. Because they have such a huge impact. I think my ally didn't see this Goblin Lair. He can use this to creep the Goblin Lair with Theorin and get him to level 4 for the Glorious Charge. Alright, Gun of the Grey get mounted. The, the thing about Gun of the Grey is you have like way long cooldown on your abilities and also you cannot use Easter Light when you are Grey. So you need to get him to, uh, to White if you want to be able to have more damage on your powers, more recharge time, more HP, but also... Unlocking the Easter Light is gonna be important. Boom! Faramir the Troll Slayer. Oh, there comes an Asgul. They got an Asgul, but unfortunately. Oh, that's a Witch King! Okay, I mean, we have no Easter Light, dude. We still need a little bit more. Let's, you know, blast the orcs, maybe. Okay, we need to get some Gondonites up on the field. Even though I'm not sure if Gondonites are the best call here, because we are against double Mordor, and they will recruit plenty of trolls, Nazgûls, and let's be honest, I think Gondonites are not going to be able to achieve too much. That's why we heavily need to rely on our ally. Our ally, Gon you know, Rohan and Isengard, they gotta take care of the monsters and the Nazgûls. And Gandalf is now Gandalf the White, ladies and gentlemen. My ally is almost, be, you know, gonna be ready. We have Faramir leadership almost unlocked too, but for now I can always provide him the Boromir leadership, which more, which me, uh, I can't even talk, which means more DPS. DPS is very important when it comes to burst down the Nazgûls and trolls. I mean, armor uh, leadership is great. Don't get me wrong, but if you gotta make a choice, you always need to cho choose a damage leadership against trolls. There is Aragorn. What is he doing? I mean, that's gonna be a good fight for me. Let's use Lightning Sword here. I will be able to catch them. That's dope. Oh, are they gonna commit to this? Oh yeah, the Witch King is coming too. Now we need some archers here. We need Rohirrim archers from our ally. I mean, we have also a lot of leadership. I don't know about that fight for the open and Rohan play. I'm gonna be honest with you. We can use Easter Light. Oh, we got so much experience. 
We need Eowyn here, boys. Where is Eowyn? Oh. Come here, dead. Level 7 Gandalf. Let's use the Easter Lights. Gandalf also gives us fear resist, and that's why this screech is kind of pointless. And trolls are coming. Oh, no, 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 no. I need Boromir and Faramir here, boys. I don't want to lose the outpost. Oh, the trolls are disengaging, actually. There is Aragorn. We can finish him off. And from this fight all alone, our Gandalf was able to get two levels. That's really nice. Oh, 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 Aragorn. <laughs> you have no Anduril, my friend. You have no Anduril. Boom! And we got half a level again on Gandalf. That's dope. Now the trolls, they gotta disengage. Because our units here are very strong. Our ally needs to rotate. Isengard. It's depending all on Isengard in this matchup. I mean, Isengard is pretty much like a big counter to Mordor faction. Remember, Mordor faction doesn't have the chance to buy upgrades, right? And Mordor is heavily relying on leadership bonuses. And what? guess what Isengard can do? Isengard can click on one button. Oh, Longspear and Eowyn is screaming, I am no man and taking down the Witch King, just like in the films. And remember, the Mordor faction is relying heavily on leadership. And with the Freezing Rain, you can shut it all down. And yeah, we are rotating now. Hopefully, we will be able to do a great amount of damage. He has three combos. The trolls, they shouldn't be able to do much. Let's use Easter Light on them. Oh, nice. We knocked them on the ground. And we can bail. You know, the trolls cannot chase our Gondor Knights or Gandalf. That's not possible. And the thing about trolls is they are only fast when they are engaging, when they are attacking something. When they try to run away, they will be extremely slow. Marketplace is almost coming up. Okay, the trolls are down. We can now trample down all these orcs, no problemo. Okay, and you know what? In the patch 2.22, and that's what I'll, that's actually one of my most favorite changes in the patch 2.22 to other patches in BFME 1. You have more command points available. Normally, good factions like Gondor and Rohan, especially Gondor, was struggling in 3v3 matches a lot because of the lack of command points. Now we can finally recruit a bit more units, which you definitely need to do in many matchups. My ally is actually on the Tainted Land. You gotta move away from there, man. On the land, you have no leadership bonuses. Let's use the Lightning Sword. The Nazgul might be catch... Oh, we can use, actually, one arrow on the Nazgul. Finish him off. Faramir, do your thing. It's coming, boys. Boy, the chunk, though. The warning arrow is only chunking. Keep in mind, it's only chunking Nazguls. It doesn't deal nearly as much damage to, to the Witch King. In Boromir is almost level 5. It's going to unlock the Horn of Gondor, which is kind of not useful against Mordor. Because Mordor has barely any units that can be stunned. Remember Trolls, Drummer Trolls, Nazgûls. They are immune to be stunned. You can't stop them. When we have so much money, I don't know what to do. I really don't want to recruit any archers because I believe, you know, my allies have, you know, my Isengard ally has plenty of combos. My Rohan ally should have also Rohirrim archers upon the field. It means we don't really need more DPS. Oh, look, guys. The thing is, when Aragorn has no Bleedmaster and no Anduril, Easter Light is going to be able to one-shot him. Phew! You see that? That's why Aragorn needs Anduril's sword or the Blademaster active to not get one-shotted by Gandalf. We can now rush this Rohan base. Yeah, we can fight this, no problem, all right? We have Gandalf level almost 9. We can go for a Jules if up last. Let's do it, Gandalf. I trust you on that one. Come on, Gandalf. Okay, let's focus on the buildings. Get more and more power points collected. The breaking point would be the Eagle Summon, but in order to be able to reach the EOD a bit faster, I want to actually skip the Eagles and go for the Cloud Break right off the bat. Cloud Break is pretty nice against Mordor too, because, you know, of course, it's not able to stun the trolls, but that's fine. You are also reducing the armor and the movement speed from the enemy units, which is also affecting the enemy trolls. So they will be losing a lot of movement speed, which gives you more like a disengage and also engage potential. And they also will lose a lot of armor, which makes it easier for you to take them down. I mean, if Mordor doesn't help, this Rohan is going to be defeated. Okay, the Mordor is coming now. Oh, I will be missing the Lightning Sword. Ah. Oh. Okay, we can go for a Juicy with plus once again in this Orc combos. They are pleb, you know, they are weak. <laughs> uh, they have no Witch King around either, so it should be in, in easily peasily. Boom! Nice, so. Oh, Ganna. Oh, Ganna, please, 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 please. Okay, nice. Luckily, the shield bubble is activating when the trolls are trying to hit us. Oh, what is the Witch King doing? Kill the Witch King, kill the Witch King. Is there a light on him? 
But we have Gandalf the White. It has to be good for something. Pew! Gandalf is striking down the Witch King and getting level 9 just like that. Unfortunately, a Vod of Power in, in this matchup against Mordor is not very impactful. So getting level 10 is not going to do a lot of stuff for us. But it's better than nothing. You can still knock them down on the ground, but it won't burst them down. Okay, we are almost there for the Cloud Break. This Rohan is fully defeated. And this should be, I believe, like a push for a GG. Mordor is engaging. Hopefully my ally is going to... When in a situation like that, Isengard has to micro a lot. Look, for example, he has only one single Drummer Troll. So my ally now has to actually kill the Drummer Troll now. That means the Trolls have no more leadership available. And easy peasy. Let's use Cloud Break to stun them and help our ally a bit. Again, we will lose 30% of their armor, which is a lot. Oh, yes. I mean, these Nazgûs are actually doing nothing. Why are they are not moving? They are not even trying to help this Rohan. If they don't move now, the Rohan player will be defeated, boys. Easter Light on your face, and boom. Gandalf, look at him, boys. He's showing his quality. Okay, I mean, dude, I really don't know what we need to do. <laughs> you know, we have almost 10,000. But uh, let's build the Siege Warks in this case. This, no, not this one, not this one. Siege Warks. You know, let's recruit for uh, some trebuchet. Our Gandalf is tanking all these towers and we have heal on cooldown. We gotta bail a little bit. I don't want to lose my Gandalf. Go back, Gandalf. All these towers are hurting so much, you know? And the trolls are coming too. Please. Let's use Lightning Sword and we will be able to catch the troll. Pew, pew, pew. And we have no heal. No heal, Gandalf. Peel back. Come on, please, 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 please. Hopefully this Nazgul is not gonna aim on us. Okay, the Rohan play is fully destroyed, by the way. In the meantime, Mateus has been defeated. But Gandalf! Gandalf! No! Shield bubble! The Witch King is taking his revenge. Look at these Nazgûls. They are hungry for my wizard. And oh my goodness, man. Gandalf has been taken down. We need to revive him now. Okay. He can also buy the camp. So now it's going to turn from a 3v3 situation into a 3v2 situation, which should be kind of good for us. I mean, we have Boromir leadership, Faramir leadership. I see Legolas on the field, Lourdes on the field, Aragorn on the field. I mean, Theory and Elma, everybody is on the field. But Mordor has darkness. Okay, darkness has been used. That's why we now need the Freezing Rain. I don't know how close my ally is for the Freezing Rain, though. We can build multiple farms here and double well for the sustain. Recovery. And this Mordor should be our next target. What is Eowyn doing? Hey, Eowyn, I can heal. Oh, <laughs> couldn't heal. Okay. Uh, what is Eowyn doing, actually? Come on, Eowyn. <laughs> She's like in the Suicide Squad. You know what I'm saying? She's like running it down. Oh, but this army looks scary, though. The trolls, the Nazgûls are charging. Focus, 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 focus. Kill the Nazgûls. Kill the Nazgûls. Where is my Boromir? What are you doing there, Boromir? Oh, my goodness, man. Screech. But Faramir is very resistant, too. Pew. Finish off the Nazgûls already, bro. Come on, you gotta focus them manually. Oh, no, 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 no. Like, my ally is actually losing everything. Holy moly, let's use heal. Oh, my ally actually lost every single combo he had upon the field, boys. Oh, that's really, that's really tough and painful. Oh, boy. Okay. I mean, to be honest, this two Mordors, they're actually able to hold themselves. That's pretty impressive. Kill the troll. We should be in a good spot. Our heroes, they need to survive, though. That's very important. Unfortunately, we lost Gandalf. It's my bad, though, because I was sending Gandalf. The thing is, Gandalf and Elma, they are faster, a little bit faster than Gondor Knights and Rohirrim. So if you actually send them forward, Gandalf and or Elma is going to arrive first. Pew! Warning arrow. That's why our Gandalf was actually tanking a lot of these towers, which is quite painful. You shall not move. The Horn of Gondor. Okay, we can kill them now. They are getting also a lot of power points collected for the Army of the Dead. But I don't want to use Army of the Dead actually because it's kind of... You know, it's a 3v2 situation. We can maybe try to get away without using the EOD. And Gandalf needs a long time to get back on the menu. Uh, which is pretty painful. The trebuchet... The, I, I don't know what they can do here, really. I mean, they are so weak. And also kind of pointless against this. I think I'm really trying to get away without having to build the archer range, you know what I'm saying? But archer range, of course, would be the best goal here. 
just because they have so many monsters and as ghouls. But I'm, I guess we have Isengard and Rohan with Rohirrim arches and combos. They should be more than enough damage. With all the leadership bonuses we get from Warchan, Lords, Aragorn, and Theoden Boromir, our combos from allies should actually hit like a truck. But you need to focus, you know, you need to target. When you play against Mordor, you need to make a priority list, you know. You want to make sure to target first the uh, trolls, for example, then the Witch King, not the normal Nazgul. You want to eliminate his uh, leadership bonuses. That's why killing the Drummer Troll or killing the Witch King is essential. I mean, I don't, be I cannot believe it, but the 3v3 was easier than the 3v2, guys. What is going on? I mean, here's the outpost here. We gotta destroy it. Gandalf is back on the menu, boys. Let's get him mounted on the Shadow Facts. And we can even recruit a bit more trebuchet, but I think in long terms, we will not be able to get away without using the archer range to be able to recruit some Gondor archers and or rangers. I mean... You know, my ally cannot can also now stop making combos. You can just make normal archers. You don't need to make combos. You need raw damage power. Because the Mordors, they will have plenty of trolls, Nazgûls. Eventually even some catapults later on. And the thing about the combos is, in compared to normal archers, they are also slower, right? So you cannot get away, disengage as quickly as you could can with a crossbowman. So archer range. Um, let's buy this outpost too. My ally is actually looking pretty strong. But you don't need this normal horses. You can only make Rohira match at this point. Because I have Gondon Acts. And you need damage against Nazgûls and Trolls. Okay, so Cloud Break is available. Let's go now. Coordinate it. We can go for a juicy attack together. Alright, let's go. I mean, this force is looking pretty scary to me. I think it's going to be hard for the open. Oh, never mind. Holy moly. Hey, Gandalf, Gandalf, Gandalf. Move, 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 move. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> My Gandalf was actually, you know, landing on the dinner of the Moomin kill for the evening. You know what I'm saying? My <laughs> Dude, this is so unbelievable. The DPS from a Moomin kill, when they step on you, it's just like you get one-shotted, my dude. You can't do nothing. And the Moomin kills are... Where is the freezing rain from Isengard? Okay, my ally was actually able to steal the trolls. That's good. But where is the freezing rain at? We need freezing rain from Isengard. Why is my ally running? Stay and fight. Stay and fight. Kill these Nazgûls already, bro. Kill these Nazgûls already. Finally, turn and fight. Okay, we gotta... The guy... <laughs> Problem is, Gandalf has such a long re revive time too. We have so much money and beat. Okay, I, I think it's time, boys, for us to spam archers. It oh my goodness. Heal. Bail, bail. But let's use Elven Wood. Because my ally likes to fight on the enemy tainted land. And that's a bad thing, by the way. On the enemy tainted land, you have no leadership. It's, it's work like, it works like a, like a freezing rain on this area. And they are committing now, boys. Or losing this would be actually quite painful because then one of the models will be able to get two uh, camps and it's gonna be hard to defeat them. I mean, it's already hard to defeat them. Now we gotta go for a sneaky attack, maybe. Oh, the Muma kill. Warning arrow should be chunking him, though. No, they have so much leadership. <laughs> I mean, warning arrow normally hurts a lot, but they have darkness and also Witch King. That's why they are almost taking no damage. Boromir, please show your quality, Boromir. It's Boromir. You need to target one by one to knock them down on the ground one by one. Attack this Boromir. Attack this Boromir, please, please. You can do it. You see, Boromir micro is very important, guys. You see, they cannot move. <laughs> you knock them on the ground all the time. Okay, Boromir, bail now. The Muma kill is coming, boys. Level 6 Muma kill. Oh, my face. What is going on? Boromir, please. We gotta use Morning Arrow, I don't know what we can do here. Oh, I did forgot about my Golden Knights and I lost them all, didn't I? Oh, they, 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 be careful. No! Okay. Dance around the Rosie, Farami. Dance around the Rosie. Can I use Morning Arrow on him, please, one more time before I die? Come on. Pew! Oh, this actually chunks because the darkness is gone. But more trolls are coming, dude. Alright, guys, we need Fire Rangers. <laughs> dude, oh my goodness, I cannot believe it. Holy moly. Gandalf down, bottom me down, fire me down. That's pretty painful. Okay, we need to revive our heroes too. But first of all, get archers with heavy armor in Venom. Dude, I cannot believe it. It's so tough. We need, I, I don't know, you need to, you know, I think that my team mates, they need to coordinate. You know, they want to, they have enough damage, but they are disengaging. You cannot disengage from Moma Kills. You cannot disengage from Trolls. It's not possible. You need to fight. 
Okay, fire is purchased. Now I gotta recruit. Oh, but this area has no protection and the trebuchet are going down. I mean, luckily for us, we have no money problems, right? So we can recruit a lot of units and we should be in a good spot. But... Hmm. Actually, is the castle uh, or the camp still alive? That's pretty interesting. Gandalf is almost back on the menu, boys. That's good. Okay, so... Uh, the only good thing is, we are actually a little bit than, more than 4 power points away from getting our army of the dead unlocked. And I was trying to say I don't want to win with EOD, but I believe in long terms it's going to be almost impossible to win without EOD. Gandalf is back on the menu, boys. It's good. Let's get him mounted. We are almost above 10. But again, it doesn't deal too much damage to Mumakirs, especially with this much leadership. And that's why we need the freezing rain from our ally when a big fight happens, you know? Not after the fight is over. During the fight. Okay, so rangers are gonna do the magic trick, hopefully. They are dealing bonus damage to monsters, so Mumma kills and also trolls should be no problem now with this much leadership. Oh, is he paying attention? Can I hit him? He's paying attention, of course, dude. I miss every single lightning sword. What am I doing to this game? Let's recapture this outpost at least. We gotta place one of the rangers inside the outpost, though. This way we have a great protection around this area. And also, let's build a statue behind, like a, like a tower. And, you know, this way we gotta keep this spot protected. That's very important. This, this camp is also remaining on the field. That's great. And I wish I would have gone for the eagles. I gotta be honest, guys. Like, eagles... Would be a little bit slower than Cloud Freak, but I think that would be a great call because of the throws and movement gears. Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. So at this point, I think we need to just massively keep recruiting more and more rangers. We need more DPS. Come on. Okay, there we go. If also Cloud Break for the next big fight, uh, which can be quite useful. And my ally Rohan has to also recruit only and exclusively Rohirrim archers. We don't need Rohirrim, because there is nothing for the Rohirrim to fight against. You cannot fight with Rohirrim against Trolls or Mumakirs, that's not possible. I mean, guys, it's impressive, by the way. Huge credits to the enemy team. Dude, they are holding themselves extremely impressively in a 2v3 situation. That's really busted. Okay. Uh, uh, there they come again. Dude, I don't know what to do. All right, Rangers. And where is Faramir? Faramir is coming. We should be waiting for him a little bit. And then we're going to make a team with the Rangers and Faramir. And Boromir is going to sport them. We're just walking with them and sporting them with additional leadership. Let's get this mounted. Give them the team. And Boromir, you are the team number two. You follow him. There we go. Nice. Let's go. Now, oh my goodness. This army looks scary, though. This army looks really scary. My ally is rotating, though, in the meantime. Maybe this is going to be enough to defend or defeat the Mordor before we lose our own camp. Okay. Hey, be careful with the heroes, Rohan! Alright, the Nazgûls are diving in. Should I use the... Oh, look how many Nazgûls, dude. Look how many of them. Oh my goodness, do you see this? What a fiesta. Kill this, kill this, please, 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 please. Okay, we can kill the Witch King now. Okay, the Nazgûl has been taken out from the Easter Light. I mean, we need to keep our distance. The Witch King is down, that's good. But I miss level 7, really close to level 10. Focus down the Mumma kill only Rangers. You see, they are now chunking with this much leadership. Right, we gotta, we gotta keep moving on. We are also getting a lot of power points collected, but what a, what an intense fight. We need to cover this tainted land, and Mumma kill is gonna be our next target. So Boromir is also pillaged, but again, money is not a problem at this point. Don't lose Gandalf again. Gandalf, please be careful. Alright, should be good. There we go, nice. Nice, 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 nice. That's huge. That's huge. We gotta... We are command points kept. That's the problem. So we need to keep uh, making more and more ranges. We need as much damage power as we can potentially get. This troll is smashing our <laughs> citadel, though. The Mumma kill is coming. Be careful, Mo Gandalf. Okay, nice. Now they are falling like flies, though. You see that? Because of rangers and also Rohirrim arches. They are pretty strong and solid. And we were even able to uh, hold the camp. But in the meantime, Mordor is building another army warfare of Mordor. They are really close for the army of the dead. Really, really close. We can use now the Easter lights against the trolls, maybe. Okay, do it. Gandalf, I trust you. Pew! They don't even die, you see? That's how much leadership they got. Oh, no, 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 no! 
dude, that's how much we feed them? Did they have already bad rock summon? I thought I'm leading so hard in the PowerPoint department. Can I kill this? Witch King, please. Witch King, die. Can I catch you? No, I missed. Gandalf, go back, go back. Gandalf, Gandalf, Gandalf. No. <laughs> Dude, I'm losing everything. I'm losing my mind. The bottom is down as well. Come on now. Come on now, Faramir. Don't die. I'm going to heal you. I'm going to heal you, Faramir. But I don't think it's going to change too much. Run, Faramir. Run for your life. Let's turn and use one arrow at least. Go take one of them with you. Boom. Okay, so Faramir... Before it was dead, he was showing his quality. Dude, the Balrog, though. It was a beautiful Balrog summon from the opponent team, though. They were waiting patiently until the fully army was grouped and summoning the Balrog underneath of our army was enough to one-shot us. Luckily, we won't lose too much. And the thing, good thing about us, about the situation for us, is that he was using that kind of defensively, right? That's very good for us. It means he won't be able to push us back for now. And we can just recover by, you know, building more and more rangers. But again, guys, <laughs> let's troll my ally a little bit. I'm gonna shoot on your crossbow, man. Peppy, because you don't use freezing rain, Peppy. You gotta use freezing rain, brother. You know? <laughs> All right, let's keep moving on. We are really close for the EOD summon, but the camp is gonna be unfortunately taken down. I'm gonna still not use the EOD right off the bat. Let's wait a little bit. We need to recruit more, but we are, you know, lacking in command points department. And the good thing about Mordor is that those trolls, they cost almost no command points because of, you know, in compared to what they bring to the battlefield, they are actually almost for free, command point-wise. They are expensive money-wise, money -wise, but again, in 3v3 matches, the money is not very important. They have now EOD, but let's not pick it, pick it yet. Okay, so, I don't know, man. I really don't know. The Na okay, we can bring the Nazgul to the outpost, actually. There is a Witch King and a Nazgul. Let's bring them all buff to the outpost. Because in the outpost, we have a Ranger with the statue behind. This should deal a lot of damage. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Pew, 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 pew. You can use Screech all you want. I want I wanted to retreat anyway. Okay. And the bad thing about the EOD is you have no chance of actually, you know, targeting the flying heroes. That's not possible. So... AOD cannot do anything about Nazgul or Witch King. And they keep spamming Mumu kills all the time. Oh man, how much money do they actually get? have? That's unbelievable. Okay, Farami is back on the menu, boys. That's good. Oh boy, oh boy. The thing is about the revive time of Gandalf level 10. It's like 3 minutes or something. You know, it's a incredible long time. The Mumu kills are destroying the Rohirrim. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's kill this guy. And yeah, there we go. We gotta build a well there also for the, for the recovery, you know? Because our units are badly damaged. I mean, can we even have enough ranges for our fight, though? He's coming, boys. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Let's kill the Muma kills. Let's kill them all. Okay. Let's be a little... Oh, be careful! Mumma. Nice. Okay, we can actually fight at, at the outpost, potentially, right? We have, you know, ranger inside the outpost. So we should be able to fight here, no problemo. The troll is gonna go down slowly but surely. The cloud break is unfortunately on cooldown, but the Mumu kills are going to war towards. But I think in a, in a situation like that, we can actually fight. Because we have Statue, we have Boromir leadership, so we have plenty of increased DPS. We, we should be able to win this fight, no problem, I think. I think. Oh! But the second Balrog is coming in too! No way! Okay, okay, never mind. Dude, we are losing this game, by the way. Guys, we are losing this game! Quickly now! What? That will bother. I'm not gonna use it defensively. I cannot use it defensively because I will need to use it offensively. Bitch King is running it down. Is there lighting Gandalf? Looks like my units from my ally are not getting any damage. Okay, the Witch King is gonna be barely able to get away, but look. Okay. Run, run, Boromir. Gandalf, you be careful as well, my friend. You be careful as well. Oh, they are not paying attention to this side. They are watching over the Nas, over the, over the Balrog. That's good. Abuse the fact, by the way. And Boromir, oh, Boromir, why you're trying to one me wanna move my kill, Boromir? Boromir, run! He cannot even run. The Nas, uh, the Balrog should be gone very soon. Faramir actually sniping down those movement kills. That's impressive. I like that. We can use lightning sword on this movement kill, and that's gonna get our gun up to level ten. Pew, 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 pew. Nice gun of level ten accomplished. Okay, now. It's the time for us to shine. Now we might we need to go for a counter-attack. And unfortunately, I will be using also my EOD for that one. 
Uh, we have this table and we need... Um, hold on a second. We, we can go actually... Let's buy this outpost back first, okay? Let's build not barracks, archery range we need, okay? And we can also build eventually even a second... Now, let's build the stone worker. We don't even need that, but, you know, we have so much money. Look our money. Like, we have nothing to spend it on, really. We have all the heroes on the field, and we should be in a good spot. And now, this push is going to be hard for them to defend. With the push, we can now finally summon EOD, and we can combine this with the Rohirrim summon from the Spearbook of Gondor. And, you know, after killing all the Mumai kills and units, we can also kill the buildings. Okay, the Mumai kills are dying now, One, uh, finally. Alright, the Witch King should be dead as well. Yeah, we have too much DPS around this side, and he had only one single Mumai kill. Okay, let's let's use it, boys. Let's use it. I don't want to risk the biscuit anymore. Let's use the EOD, kill the Mumai kills. Let's send them inside and finish them off. I mean, I gotta give credits, even though I think if the Rohan player would be able to hold himself a little bit longer in the game, this game would be definitely but won't be won by the opening team. Definitely. I would have been able to win this game, no problemo. The Witch King gets slain by the Gandalf. That's very good. Um, yeah, I mean, like with the EOD, the Mumai kills have no chance. Now we have a huge army. And in the meantime, my ally is taking care of the second camp, the second camp from the Mordor player. They're gonna call it GG. Let's use a little bit... No stuck. Let's flex on him. You know, show up that the Gandalf is level 10. Everybody is calling it GG. GG indeed. It was a fun game, though. It was a fun game. <laughs> Spam the W button. Look at this blue animation, dude. I'm not gonna use it. There is nothing to use it on. You don't need to use it here. But you can cancel the animation. You can use it in a vault. And then it's not gonna go off, you know? Alright. This Mordor has lost the camp. We can recruit more and more and more. I mean, we have so many units now all of a sudden on the field. And... Oh, the Balrog was summoned once again from the opponent. I see you. My ally was buying this camp. Lightning sword and catching two Nazgûls, but they won't time. They will be barely able to swipe both of them, but it's not going to be enough to one-shot them. The thing is, the lightning sword is going to split the damage between multiple units. I mean, the troll, stop chasing me, please. I will easter light you, troll. There we go. Okay, we are also really close for the Eagle Special Summon. This Mord... Oh, the Balrog. We need to wait until he's gone. He has not much time left anymore fighting against Balrog when your Easter Light and your Lightning Sword is on cooldown. It's going to be a suicide mission, and we don't want to lose the Gandalf. Once again. We lost him already twice, I believe. <laughs> Dude, that was actually a rough game. It was looking easy, though. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. In the first couple of minutes, I was like, okay, that's going to be a easy game after defeating... Uh, the Rohan early on, but the double Mordor, they actually hold themselves very nicely in the game. Nosta, Kress. Let's use it against the buildings. Boromir, don't die. We can use it here. It's also gonna deal a bit damage to the buildings. Boom. Doesn't burst, obviously. Again, it's good against units, but not against monsters and not also not against structures. We can cover this in the land, no problemo. Let's take down the camp. The Nazgûls are falling, and this should be the GG push, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. 3v3 match. Was fun to play. Was fun to play. We can go for the Eagles, I mean, too, just why not? Let's call on the Eagles. The Eagles, the Eagles are coming. Okay. GG well played. Never shall they return. And they almost won, guys. They almost won. It's unbelievable. Level 10, Faramir. Faramir, my friend. You have shown your quality in this game. Just like the enemy team. GG was quite fun to play this. Uh, it was like a 3v3, which turned into a 2v3. But it was a phenomenal game. Look how much, how many units they killed. I was still the number one in enemy units destroyed, though. I will see you next time, guys. Until then, take care of yourselves. As always, keep hitting like a truck and stay beyond standards. Peace out.